My name's Sergey, and I'm a professional sock puppeteer. The Latin term for sock puppeteering is pedale pupa ventriloquus. So basically, in most common cultures mythology, it's based around a man named Sergey, hence my birth name. In Greek and Egyptian societies, he was known as Le Ventriloc Chozo. So, one day, he left his, his tunic out on the clothesline, because he had to wash it, but had it dry. And, to his surprise, later, he finds a bandicoot just violating it, just defiling it. And, he had to claim it back, but man, uh, Sergo, he wouldn't take anything from anyone. So, he grabbed one of his shreds, that was just a ripped up, what was left of his tunic, and he grabbed one of his shreds, and he tied off the end, and put it on his hand, as a weapon of destruction. And he, he was gonna fight this bandicoot, he, he wasn't just gonna, you know, just king hit him, he was, he was going to fight him and, and win. So he confronted this bandicoot and defeated it with, with his sock puppet, the first sock puppet in the world. It was glorious. And he's visited so many countries and stuff and just influenced everyone. The world wouldn't be what it is today. Yeah, he's my inspiration. At at the age of eight, I received my first sock. I know it. Yeah, everyone else has socks. I take it for granted, but this was this was the thing. I'd I'd always I'd, I'd grown up with Crocs since then, and when I received it, I was. I knew there was, it was, I knew there was something special about it. I knew there was, I had a connection. I, there was something significant about that moment and that it was just a key point in my life. My stepdad just, just comes up with all these schemes. He'll, he'll do anything. I'm commonly, I'm renowned by the community as Sergey. And not only am I known for that name, it is my name. So this one day, my stepdad comes up to me and he's like, your name isn't Sergey, it's, your legal name is Ethan. And I was like, Ethan, Ethan, and imagine that, it's just, just walking around town and then, hey Ethan. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I just, my, going to my supplier is just like, it's, it's the best, it's the thing. And when I, it's like when, when, when you go into the, the Macca's or something and you get the ice cream, but you also get the, the flake. It's, it just makes that much of a difference. My parents, well, my mom, she just, and I think my stepdad's in it too. It's probably another one of his schemes. They just, they're always encouraging me to do new things. And I think just pursuing this one goal will, is, is ruining my life. I just, all I do is this all day, every day. But I thought, you know what? Instead of compromising for my compromising my ambitions, my dreams, I thought, why not, why not work these into my dreams? So I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I just the simple things in life are what a what a truly mat truly matters, the, the greatest things in life. I just, you could have something 
with a really long name, but it's not that great. Like, um, when you go to a carnival and they announce delicious hot food and it's Dagwood Dogs. <laughs> Dagwood Dogs. I mean, uh, if you're hungry, they're all right, but you know, they're, they're pretty average. But you could have something like cake. That's one syllable. I just like to if you guys with that, that's it's sock puppeteering is my life. And no matter how much persecution I face for that, no matter how many people don't like me for it, even though many do, I I'm gonna persevere. I'm not gonna do anything else. Even if I die or something, I'm I'm just gonna do it. I already suffer much persecution, but I'm going strong. I'm going strong. Oh, why? Why do you, why do you have to kill him? It's such a tool, but I'm going to act really pissed off and upset, so it's a good ending, but... Oh, damn.